Good morning, boys and girls. You may think you know where you live, but do you really? I have a great book for you today that will answer that question in a lot of detail. It's called My Place in Space by Robin and Sally Hurst. long ago, Henry Wilson and his sister Rosie were waiting for a bus. When it arrived, the door swung open, and a tall, rather scruffy driver peered down from the top of the steps. What's your name, Sonny? Henry Wilson, replied Henry politely. This is my sister Rosie. And what can we do for you? asked the driver. We would like to go home said Henry. Very good point. Read more books. And welcome to Haley's Hardware and the Blue Moon Cafe. Home, the driver said rather loudly. Henry wished the man would speak a little more softly. Home, replied the driver just as loudly. Are you sure you know where you live? The bus driver laughed, ha, 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 and winked at the two young women sitting in the front of the bus. They began to giggle. <laughs> Do you know where you live? asked the driver. Everyone on the bus stared at Henry. Here's the bust. Notice we're zoomed out a little bit. Henry gritted his teeth and took a deep breath. Yes, I do. We live at 12 Main Street, Gumbridge. Our house is on the north side of Main Street. The town of Gumbridge is just over the river. Henry looked at the driver, whose grin was fading slightly. It seemed as though the man wanted to speak, but no words were coming out of his mouth. Henry took a deep breath and continued. Gumbridge is just a typical town in Australia. Australia is in the southern hemisphere of the planet Earth, continued Henry. The bus driver stopped laughing. Rosie squeezed Henry's hand. Henry gaining courage, took another deep breath and went on. The planet Earth is one of nine known planets which circle the star we call the Sun. Earth is the third planet from the Sun, 93 million miles away from it. In fact, it takes eight minutes for the Sun's light to travel to Earth that may seem like a long way, but it's 3.7 billion miles to Pluto, the ninth planet from the sun. Sunlight takes about five and a half hours to travel to Pluto. Rosie, who had not taken her eyes off Henry, nodded her head in agreement, but the bus driver said nothing, even though his jaw was moving up and down. We call the sun and planets our solar system, continued Henry. The solar system is in the middle of a group of stars we call the solar neighborhood. Our sun's neighbors are stars of all colors and sizes. You can see them in the dark skies of Gumbridge on any clear night. The nearest star is called Alpha Centauri. It takes over four years for its starlight to reach Earth. Other stars, like the big red star Antares, are way out at the edge of the solar neighborhood, about 500 light years away. That means it takes 500 years for the light to reach us. Rosie smiled at Henry and took another deep breath, just like him. <sighs> Our solar neighborhood 
is just part of the Orion arm. That's a curve in the space. Uh, that's a curve in space made a mil of millions of stars gathered in solar neighborhoods. Among the stars are huge clouds of dust and glowing gases. You can see the dust clouds from Gumbridge too. They look like dark patches in the very starry parts of the sky. The driver checked his watch. He looked as though he was about to say something. But Henry quickly continued. The Orion's arm is just one of the arms of the huge group of about 300 billion stars. This whole group is called the Milky Way Galaxy. If you think it's a long way to Gumbridge, or even to the nearest star, that's nothing really. It takes light 100,000 years to cross from one side of the galaxy to the other. Our galaxy is called a spiral galaxy because of the way its arms make a spiral shape. Henry let go of Rosie's arm, hand so he could demonstrate the shape of the spiral arms. Of course, the Milky Way isn't the only galaxy in space. There are 20 galaxies in our local group of galaxies. Ours is the second largest. The largest is called the Andromeda Galaxy. It's a spiral galaxy too, said Henry, making more spiral shapes for the driver. Light from the stars in the Andromeda Galaxy takes over two million years to reach our galaxy. Most of space is just that, space, added Henry, trying to relieve the pu driver's puzzled look. The driver's face was turning slightly red. Henry went on. Our local group of galaxies is just part of a huge group of galaxies called the Virgo Supercluster. It takes light a few million years to cross our local group of galaxies. But it takes a few hundred million years to cross from one side of the supercluster to another. The driver's face was now bright red and he was shaking his head from side to side. Henry took one more deep breath and bo waving both arms to make a huge circle, he said, and the whole universe is filled with superclusters of galaxies. Rosie stepped forward, clenching her fists, standing up straight. She said, so we do know where we live. We live at 12 Main Street, Gumbridge, Australia, Southern Hemisphere. Earth, Solar System, Solar Neighborhood, Orion's Arm, Milky Way Galaxy, Local Group of Galaxies, Virgo Supercluster, The Universe. May we get on the bus now, please? asked Henry. More about space. The pictures in this book give some idea of just how big the universe is. The distance in outer space are so great that they can't be measured the same way we measure distances on Earth. From Earth to the sun alone is 93 million miles. That's 3,500 times around the Earth. The nearest star, Alpha Centauri, is over 25 trillion miles away. So if the sun were the size of a tennis ball, the Earth would be the size of a grain of sand and almost 23 feet away. Alpha Centauri, that nearest star, would be almost the size of a tennis ball too, but 1,240 miles away from 
our little grain of sand that is the earth. Henry knows that light travels about 1,000, or sorry, 186,000 miles each second. That means that light could travel around the earth seven times in one second. Seven times around the earth in one, two, that amount of time. Wow. A light second is the distance of 186,000 miles. Light travels the distance from the earth to the sun in eight minutes. So that distance is called eight light minutes. This is uh, a light year is the distance light travels in one year. This is almost six trillion miles. Just think how long it would take you to travel that by car. Our nearest galaxy, Andromeda, is over two million light years away. On a clear night, you can see about 2,000 stars in the sky. From a dark location, you should also be able to see the Milky Way, which appears as a whitish glow across the heavens. Students always ask me, but if we're in the Milky Way, how can we see the Milky Way? Well, remember, the Milky Way galaxy is a spiral galaxy. So even though we may be in one spot on that galaxy, we can see the other arms of the galaxy. <clears throat> if you would look very carefully at the brightest stars, you might notice their different colors. Some are more orange, some more blue. Go on and take a look. The end. I hope you enjoyed our book, My Place in Space. And you know a little bit more about exactly your address and where you live in the entire universe. Have a great rest of your day, everybody. Bye.